Alright, so today I'm gonna do another hack and slide video but using a MIDI file. Somebody asked me how do they replace an instrument in a MIDI file with a hypersonic sound. So I'm gonna do it first of all. I'm gonna open up a MIDI file and I'm using this Lil Wayne featuring Bruno Mars, the mirror song. Cause it's the only one this well this is the first one that I seen, so I'm just gonna use it for this video. Cause I don't do this so you gonna open it up and you're gonna hit up accept on this. Alright, so now I'm finna play it for you. Alright, so I'm gonna place this in the song. And like, this the whole entire song like this. <laughs> So I'm gonna clone this for my video. Okay, and I'm gonna rename it to the new sounds because that's what I'm gonna put in here. New sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this one because they don't even use it as you can tell. So I'm gonna delete that. Alright, and so now I'm just gonna insert hypersonic. I had to re-put, I mean reinstall, because I don't even use it. Okay, so we're going to move that down. Okay, so now I'm going to insert MIDI outs. And I'm going to do it four times, I think. And so, hypersonic, you're going to take this to the um, import 1. reason why you got to take it to 1, because the sounds right here, they are using its own media out controller. And it's this one, it's on port 0. So I had to change my hypersonic to 1. So now I'm going to go to my media outs and change them to 1, 2. So now I'm changing this to channel 2 and this one to channel 3, channel 4, and channel 5. Alright. And so now in this one, I'm going to copy these sounds right here into these down here. And so control C and control V. So now that I got them right there, I can just erase them from right there. But this is just for my video. If you don't want to do all that, you can just hit replace with hypersonic like that. And you can just replace them with media out tracks. And just do like I did in the first hypersonic video. And so now I'm going to go to the song and replace that. Okay. And so now in this one, I'm going to hypersonic. As you can tell, like once I start playing it, the only thing I'm going to play is just wait to the matrix. It's the only thing that's playing. So for this one, I'm going to replace them with strings because that's what the beat consists of. So for this one, I'm gonna go to load and um, I'm gonna go to the strings tab. I don't like that one. All right. And so this one, they use a pad. So let's see, can I find one right here? Okay. So 
I'll be using it. Now I gotta find another string. Damn it, five minutes. This is me, piano. another string right there. So, we're going to go here, we'll mute this one, and play the original file. play the one where I added the sounds in. different so that's how you take a MIDI file and you replace the sounds with hypersonic now I'm play the original again because it sounds better <laughs> you place the sounds in the hypersonic file, I mean, you know, MIDI file with hypersonic sounds. But if you don't want to do all the extra stuff I did, since I got a couple more minutes left in this video, we're going to go here and then we're just going to replace this one. So you're just going to do the same steps I did when I added the hypersonic in. Instead of inserting, you're going to hit replace. You're going to re replace with hypersonic, and then you'll take this one, replace with the MIDI out track. Same thing with this one. You're going to replace it with the MIDI out tracks on on down. And so that's how you replace sounds from hypersonic into a MIDI out file. And of course, just like any other, you can go in here and you can change these, like where you want to place them at. You can move them, you can bring them back down, just like you made it yourself, but you're kind of stealing. But anyways, <laughs> that's how you do that, so now we're going to do it one more time.
my video will have you import a MIDI file and replace the sounds with other sounds of, with sounds of your own. And I'm out. Deuces.